This is Dave Stanton for Carbotech. Welcome to our video on the BDS 1523H 3 quarter horse combined 6 inch belt and 9 inch disc sander. This machine can be assembled and left as a benchtop machine or can be mounted on the supplied stand. The rubber feet can be fitted, depending on your preferred setup, onto the base of the machine or the bottom of the stand. The supplied stand will give you a comfortable working height, which is a very similar height to a standard bench. The belt sander will be at 900 millimeters above the floor and the disc sander will be at 870 millimeters above the floor. Carefully unpack all of the items from the box and check through all of the components. The disc sander. Undo the dust guard and glue the Velcro pad onto the nine inch disc. Note that the Velcro pad is not self-adhesive and you will need to use a glue to adhere it to the disc. In this situation, I used a contact adhesive. Be sure that the Velcro pad is correctly aligned with the disc. Place the supplied sandpaper onto the Velcro pad, then close and secure the dust guard door with the internal hex drive machine screw. Notice that there is a dust port at the bottom of the guard. Using the three self-tapping Phillips head screws, fasten the dust hose connector over this port. A steel bar to support the workpiece table is supplied to be slid into the two separate positions on the sander. One position is at the front of the machine, below the 9 inch disc, and the other is below the 6 inch belt. The bar is secured into the body of the machine via two 10 mm hex internal drive grub screws and can be tightened with the supplied Allen key. The workpiece table is also connected to the bar by identical grub screws. Notice that both sides of the support bar have a flat section. This is to ensure that when the grub screws are tightened, the workpiece table will remain horizontal and resist deflection. Position the table the correct distance away from the disc, allowing clearance for the sandpaper to clear the workpiece table in either the horizontal position or in any angle position down to 45 degrees, but not so far away as to cause items to get jammed between the workpiece table and the disc. There is a cursor that you will need to fine tune once you have the table in position at 90 degrees. An engineer square will ensure that when you do this initial setup, everything to follow will be accurate. The belt sander. The dust guard for the belt sander can be connected using three 4mm machine screws into the tapped section of the body of the machine. For use with a 4 inch hose, there is an adapter supplied from 2.25 inches to 4 inches. There is a large bolt that goes down to the base of the machine, positioned beside the switch box. It is a positive stop to hold the belt sander horizontal. There is a lock nut at the bottom of the bolt which when released enables you to adjust the bolt to get the cursor around here reading correctly. Assemble the stand. To assemble the stand it is an idea to place the painted sections on a soft surface. In this situation I've used a router mat. There are 16 8mm carriage bolts, nuts and washers that lock the stand together. The main thing to consider when assembling the stand is that everything will line up. There are square punched holes on the shorter sections of the cross rails of the stand and they will secure the carriage bolts whilst you are tightening the nuts. Wait until you have got all of the bolts in position with the nuts on finger tight. Once you are happy that the stand is straight and square, tighten all of the nuts with the 13mm spanner supplied. There are special clips that slide over the base of the larger panels of the stand to stiffen the folded sections that has the hole in it to accept the rubber feet. You may need to open the clips up slightly so that they will fit. Ensure you remove the washer from the rubber foot prior to inserting the rubber foot with the captured bolt through the holes. Replace the washer on the other side, fit the nut and then tighten. Once you are happy that all of the nuts are tight, place the sanding machine on top of the stand. Be aware that the machine is heavy and you may want assistance at this stage. Use the four 8mm hex head bolts and washers supplied that will go directly into the threaded section in the base of the machine. Be aware that the belt section of the machine will pivot and is basically hinged on the axle and may move while you lift the machine. 
Pick the machine up in areas you know will be stable and will not move. Areas such as the end of the belt sander, near where the dust port is, and the horizontal limiting bolt for the sander are secure areas. There are belt tracking adjusters on both sides of the sander. These will be factory set, but may need to be turned slowly to ensure correct tracking. You can turn these adjustment dials by hand, but it is easier using something such as the Allen key to rotate the adjustment dials. Once you are confident that all of the fixings are tight and that everything is fitted as it should be and that no tools or other items are sitting on the sanding belt, you may place the 10 amp plug into a 10 amp 240 volt outlet and then turn the outlet on. To start the machine, pull the big red cover on the switch back and then depress the green button. It is crucial that you watch the belt for tracking at this stage and adjust if necessary to make the belt track correctly. To turn the machine off, push down on the red switch cover.